We've been exploring reprocessing of N95 masks because it's one of multiple different avenues that we need to be prepared for if ever we had a critical shortage of N95 masks. But right now we've already started the process of collecting N95 masks and to start sterilizing them so that they will be available if we need them. Um, and in the meantime, we've been collecting as much evidence as possible just to make sure that if we do have to go in that direction, that it will be safe to do so. Recently, a number of groups across Canada, including at our National Microbiology Lab, have looked at this. They took N95 masks and they put them through different sterilization procedures that we, all we, that we use currently uh, in healthcare across a number of different uh, medical devices that need to be reprocessed. And when they did it, they actually contaminated the masks with SARS-CoV-2 and were able to demonstrate that using the sterilization procedure actually uh, killed all of the virus and there was no virus that could be recovered from those masks. And then they went a step further to make sure the integrity of the mask was maintained by doing quantitative fit testing and actually confirmed that that was, um, that was the case as well. We're asking that staff no longer discard their masks. Hopefully we never have to use them, but if we have to use them, I think we have processes in place and research supporting that it would be safe.